Yo, we are the Crane Couple, and we're back at the Winds Buffet. It's one of the biggest, best buffets here in the Las Vegas Strip. Oh, yeah. We enjoy it a lot. We are here during a very busy holiday week for brunch. It's about almost 1030. Yeah. And there's a lot of great food here. A lot of people love this buffet. It's really good. So hopefully you guys love it, too. Come join us. Let's go. Making our way down to the buffet here at the Wind. It's very nice, very stylish. And here we've got the salad, the fresh section. A lot of fun salads. Spinach, Italian, butternut squash. And you got a cute little section here. You can make your own parfait. Oh, no, your own parfait. It's very fun. A lot of nice toppings. Which can make your own Caesar yeah, salad. Make too. your own salad. It's very nice, as well as an assorted selection of fruits, berries, and all that. Looks nice. Nice. Yeah. Pineapple actually looks pretty good, and I don't normally like pineapple. <laughs> Down here we've got some soup. A very popular home style chicken noodle soup. And we've got an organic vegetable soup, oatmeal, and grits. Grits. The meats. The meats. Some meats, not a carving station, but like well, salami oh, yeah. and all of that. The, the deli meats. <laughs> it's kind of fun to pick at stuff like this. Maybe not as fun to pick at the bread. But bread is so good. It's some fun looking bread. What is that one on the, the left side I don't know what here? that is. It's a unique looking, that's for sure. We have cheeses. Cheese. Darby sage cheddar. What an interesting color wow. it's got. French brie. They got chipotle gouda. That looks fun. A bunch of other cheeses too. Oh. Looks nice. And here we've got some fish, baked cod, stuffed sole filet, and one fish of my favorites, chips. the fish and chips in the cute little basket. It is really cute. They're really good, really good. Because it's brunch, we've got a pair of Eggs Benedict, classic and Maine lobster. Oddly enough, it looks like people like the regular one. Yeah, the regular the, one. More than the Maine. There's the pizza section. Pizza. We've got truffle mushroom, which is very popular. The meat lovers, which I know you've liked before. Yes. There's a cute looking breakfast oh, pizza. Oh, that one looks good. A little bit of egg on there. And oh, some geez. cheese pizza. First selection at the buffet at the Wynn. Breakfast pizza. Look at that cheese, pizza. though. Wow, what a cheese pull. Holy. Dang. All right, that looks really good. Ooh. <laughs> I'm kind of excited about this. Hey. I do feel like the Wynn has some of the better pizzas yeah. of all the buffets here on the Vegas Strip. Down here we have a Latin station with chorizo scramble. Ooh. Some pork tamales. That sounds good too. Mm -hmm. Chicken enchilada, which people seem to enjoy. And Not there's much supposed of that. to be some kind of hashed potato here, which is unfortunately. Oh, they're probably making more. Cute little bowls of pozole. Oh. And a chorizo and egg tostada. Ooh. Looks very good. That looks really good. Yeah, might think about that. I think about that too. So the meteor stuff, we got some pollo asada, some nice chicken, carnitas, some pork, and then we got some black beans and some street corn. Nice looking Man, stuff. Man, there's some good selections. Pancakes. Do we wait for pancakes? You want to wait for pancakes now? Wait for All right, pancakes. let's wait for pancakes. They walk past and they walk off. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> right. You do that double take, like, like mm. One chocolate, one sprinkle. Yay! Thank, Thank you, you very so much. Do you want syrup? Oh. Ooh, looks good. Oh, that, that release is real fast. Yeah. Nice. We got our pancakes. All right. Now. Oh, and waffles. You might as well get a waffle too. Should I get a waffle now? Yeah, we're getting all, right. we're getting all the really breakfasty items right now. Well, that one looks cute. That one's good. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of nice things right here. This is a uh, country biscuits and gravy. The Belgian waffle with a little bit of whipped cream and sprinkles and chocolate chips. Over here we have an ube banana French toast. Oh. Fun. Next to that is a cinnamon roll bananas foster. That sounds pretty good too. Oh, that looks good. And some scrambled eggs. Next to that we've got some muffins. Cute Red. little. Oh, apparently Danish almond kringle. The, the holidays right oh, now. Oh, interesting. Very cute looking breads right here. And then down here we have some 
au gratin, potatoes, Ooh. a bacon frittata. That sounds interesting. That looks good too. Bunches of bacon, bacon vegetable frittata, and some very large breakfast sausage links. Anything else you want to grab right here, Brittany? I was going to grab a bacon, but they took it from me. No bacon for you. There oh, we go. The All right. Okay. Have some bacon. Nice. nice. Sorry. There we go. Cool. All right. Does seem pretty good for right now? Yeah, let's start with this. Okay. We got pancakes to eat. We do. First plates in, smaller plates because very breakfasty items. Yes. Brittany, what are you going to try? Uh, I'm going to try the breakfast pizza. Mm. Very nice. It was super cheesy when we got it. Oh, oh, the egg right there. Oh, that's actually really good in a pizza. <laughs> I don't think I've really ever had breakfast pizza before. No, I don't think so. But that's good. The egg makes really well with the cheese. There's a little bit of like bacon ham bits that are on there. There's a lot going Ooh, on. That's good. Yep. Get the breakfast pizza. Maybe I will. <laughs> now, let's try the waffle. The little Belgian waffle. The cute little pot. Looks like some marshmallow fluff on top. Then some sprinkles and chocolate chips. Put a little bit of syrup on there too. Oh man, this is a big bite. Waffles are so good. Really soft on the inside, but it's still got like um, a rougher crunch almost on the outside. And then you get the sweetness from the marshmallow and the chocolate. That's great. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. You look very happy right now. Breakfast is good. We love good breakfast, man. Yeah. Now, or bacon. Big bacon. They just put that one out, too. Nice little crunch, but not too crunchy. It's bacon. I mean, come on. Hard to go wrong with bacon, right? This is so good. <laughs> I love bacon. Especially fresh bacon. Delicious. Good first choices? Oh, yeah. It's my turn. I get to try the pancakes. Yum. Yeah. Freshly made. And don't worry, we didn't wait too long. They're still nice and piping hot. Oh, yeah. But uh, we have a sprinkle one and a chocolate chip one. Yeah. So th these are all made to order. So you just let the guy know what kind of pancake you want. There's actually sprinkles inside the sprinkle pancake, and there's also chocolate chips in the batter of the chocolate chip. Yeah, they actually put it in the batter. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, I'm gonna start with the chocolate. It's just right here, right on top. Cut a nice bit. Ooh, that looks good. It's like already coming apart. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's so chocolatey. Oh. Brittany, you will love this. I'm excited. This is very good. It's very rich, strong chocolate flavor. Not overly sweet, honestly. Oh, okay. Good amount of syrup on here. Thanks to Brittany. Yep. Yeah, I like it. Hard to meet, beat a freshly made pancake, honestly. Yeah, right? Now I'm gonna get into the sprinkled one. Let's see how that one is. It's gonna have a hint of chocolate on it, don't mind me. We've had pancakes with chocolate chips in them, but not pancakes with sprinkles in them. It's like a funfetti kind of pancake yeah. going on here. It's very cute. Mm. Oh, it's really nice too. Ooh. I worry when they do stuff like this because it might be too sweet, but it's actually not too bad. Nice, that's good. I was worried because all the sprinkles. It's not too crazy. It's light, fluffy, just the right amount of sweet. Definitely for the sprinkled one, have a little bit of syrup. For the chocolate one, you might not actually need the syrup. Because it's got the chocolate syrup it's on it. such a rich chocolatey cake, but they're both really good. Nice. I don't think you can go bad with any of them. And you can also, if you don't 
like sprinkles or things like that. You can add fruits. There's like little berries and things. Yeah, there was some berries. Or you can get them plain. Yeah, you can have it whatever way you want. Yeah. Good stuff. Nice. Let's dig in. <laughs> Round two. Let's do this, Brittany. All right. Uh huh. What do we want? We keep working our way down the line, yeah. huh? Hardest part about any buffet. What do you choose? Good question. You only question. have so much space. We got some veggies, zucchini and squash, some roasted cauliflower with pesto. And here's a four cheese macaroni. With, with peas. peas. It's kind of odd. Aww. Some herb jasmine rice. It looks pretty good. And some nice olive oil and chive mashed potatoes. Oh, interesting. That could be good. Yeah, I might grab some of grab that. Some of that, okay. Ugh. Good won't enough. come off the spoon. <laughs> there we go. There's like two bites of mash. <laughs> awesome. I've gotta Love make it. sure I got space. Down here we have some rotisserie chicken. Ooh. Very nice. It's supposed to be a banana barbecue chicken, but mostly pineapple in the middle here. And some roasted turkey breast. Looks very good. There's some slow roasted kudabuta pork loin. That looks really good. Some pork sliders. It looks like little por pork sliders, yes. And a honey glazed ham. Some sauces. Sauce. That's a lot of sauce. Yeah. Everything from cranberry to applesauce, horseradish. Some Polish sausage. Ooh, there's some pork belly. Ooh. And there's brisket and beef steamship. I kind of want some of the pork belly. You want some pork belly? Mm. Yes, ma'am. Can I get some brisket, please? Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Can I get some pork belly, please? Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you. Oh. Those are some nice slices. Wow. You're right. Dang, that crust. It looks beautiful. <laughs> Carving station's always a good idea, guys. Speaking of good ideas, we got an omelet station. Oh, Made omelets. to order. All with free range eggs and a lot of cool toppings. Dang, pancake station and an omelet station. Ah. Oh, right. uh -huh. uh, the fried rice, man. No. That's what I came here for. Yeah, that's what I came here for. Oh. The rice is really good here. Yeah. Oh, pressure is better anyway. Well, there's some Thai spiced beef and basil, which looks good, and some seafood pad Thai rice noodles. Actually, Brittany, can you help me get some of that? Yeah. That would be fantastic. Thank you. About right. Right in there. There you go. I love me some noodles. Those noodles look good. Yeah. This is different. I don't remember them having seafood pad thai no. before. And there is some char siu pork fried rice on the way. Sadly, not here yet. They well, took I'm, it. <laughs> I'm coming back for it. Yeah. Though. And down here we have egg drop soup with top loop. A lot of topping. It's not toppling. Topplings. You might topple your appetite oh, if you have too much. I love me some topplings. I'll have all the topplings, please. Could you please topple these little fried wonton bits Ooh, into my soup. that sounds good, actually. If you don't have the little bits in your soup, you're not even really eating. Oh, look at this. They're little metal baskets. Ooh, that's cute. Okay. Well, we have a lot of dim sum here. We have some... Whoa. Whoa. Is that the panko bread shrimp roll? Panko bread shrimp roll. I'm assuming you want one of these. Uh, yeah, Brittany. You read my mind, baby. Thank you. Mm. Look at how long these ones are. <laughs> That's convenient yeah. considering you had to reach a little bit. But they also have pork buns, spring rolls, pot stickers, shumai, and leek cakes. Yeah. It's always a very good station here. It's very popular down here. Yeah. They've redone some of this when we last came through. Yeah, those were metal baskets. They yeah. didn't have the shrimp. Yeah, these, uh, these shrimp rolls. Well, since this is inadvertently turning into an Asian station <laughs> plate, I might as well fill it out with some more. What would I want? They have like California rolls here, vegetable roll, there's an unagi roll. I like the idea of that paradise roll down there paradise at the far roll. end. Yeah, if you can grab me a paradise roll, Brittany, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Ooh, this one right in the middle. Yeah, this has spicy tuna, shrimp, and spicy garlic ponzu. It's great. Thank you, Brittany. Oh no. Poor sign got popped up. <laughs> what do we have down here? We have some edamame. Oh, it's interesting. A papaya salad oh. with some shrimp and other seafoods in here. 
A lot of shrimp. A lot of shrimps. Yeah. A lot of shrimpies. It's very good. Look at all this. Oh, dang. The eel one looks fancy. Yeah. So can you grab me an eel one, you want too? An eel one? That would be awesome. With me. Thank you. I got some space left on the plate. Let's go. Mm, this one actually looks pretty good. I'll take that one. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Cold seafoods. There's cold crab claws and some shrimp cocktail. I think there's some salmon. Some oh, yeah. Clams. Look at all the shrimp. Good looking shrimp, look at this. It's a big shrimp too. I'm not really a cold shrimp person, but I might try some later. They're really big looking too. Yeah. <laughs> just wanna have some giant shrimp, you know? <laughs> but here's a look at some of the crab claws. It's Dungeness crab, pretty good crab. And they marinated clams, mussels, and some salmon. Nice, like bagels. For, yeah, bagels. Yeah. Awesome, that's a, Pretty decent overview of what's here right now. Yeah. Although some of the some of the food was getting refilled oh, as yeah. we're passing by. Let's see if the rice is back. Any rice? Oh. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'm gonna squeeze some rice on here. Oh boy. Where do we put it? Uh, right there's good. That's fine. Oh. Uh, it's right over the, the poor pork belly. Look, it's a big Swallowed spoon. <laughs> Larger than I thought. <laughs> oh. Second plate, good for me. Yeah, I feel gonna, like you should get something I'm else, I'm gonna find some more. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna do it. Well, someone took a lot of the peas for you. Yeah, I'll take it. We love some mac. Just a little bit. A little bit of mac. Anything over here? These potatoes. Ooh, potato. Come on. There we go. This might be good for right now. Okay. All right, then let's get back. Round two of buffet plates is here. Brittany's got some nice things. What do you feel like starting with? I'm gonna start with the meat. Carver. The brisket. Very nice. Looks maybe a little overly cooked. Yeah, it's it looks a little, a little, on the drier side. A little dry. But we'll see how it tastes, right? All right. It's anything really spectacular. Because it's a little dry, but it's pretty good. It's meat. It's meat. It's meat. <laughs> it's meat. <laughs> so if you like some meat, just meat, get the brisket. Maybe oh. grab it and then come sit down. Maybe. <laughs> We've had it before here where it didn't look so overdone. But the flavor is still pretty good. That's good to see. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna try the mashed potatoes. Olive oil and chive? I think that's what it said. Yeah. Yeah. A little different. Looks pretty creamy. Ooh, very creamy and so pretty salty. I like my potatoes salty. I don't really taste the olive oil, I don't think. Mm. But they're they're good mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Good mash. I'll take these. Makes for a nice breakfast. Yeah. For breakfast, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared of this one. Four cheese mac and cheese, but it's got peas in it. Who puts peas in their mac and cheese? Okay, does anybody actually put peas in their mac and cheese, though? And if you do, why? <laughs> why would you ruin mac with why? green peas? Why? All right, let's see how this is. Thick noodle. It's kind of cheesy. It started to kind of dry a little bit, so that like it's not super creamy cheese. Mm. So you definitely still get that cheese taste, but it's not like gooey, like ooey gooey kind of mac and cheese. Yeah, it looks on the lighter side for the sauce. Yeah. And all that. Good thing is though, can taste the peas. I was worried about that. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> See, that one I put a little more extra cheese on that. That one's good. All right, Wynn, mm. just add more cheese, okay? Add more cheese. Please. <laughs> Speaking of, let's try some of these potatoes. Oh, okay. Just smush. They're so funny. I thought they were layers, but they almost look like 
thin potato like strips. Yeah. That they like rolled on top of each other. Not what I expected either. But does it taste good? Mmm. That sauce that they have it on, that is good sauce. It's kind of cheesy, a little creamy. And then when you get the potato. It looks pretty good to me. That one, <laughs> yep. My turn for my second plate. I've got a little more going on than Brittany's, but I've got a ton of stuff on here. It just became an accidental Asian station plate. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna start with the pork belly. I like, I like digging into the, the warmer items first. So especially for anything from a carving station, you kind of want to get into it yeah. sooner rather than later. I'm very curious about this pork belly because that crust looks so good. Yeah, it does. A little tough on this bottom crust, but that's okay. There you go. Wow, that's a good looking bit, right? Okay, Let's see? I feel like I'm eating fancy ham. Really, is that what it tastes like? Yes, it's saltier, it's fattier, it's rustier. Who doesn't love a good fancy ham? I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not as tender as I was expecting. Of course, since we're filming and all that, food has to sit, hasn't really impacted it too much, but the flavor is fantastic. Not overly rich, which I kind of worry about with pork belly. Very tasty. Yum. Uh, I'm going to move on right next to it to the chashu pork fried rice because it was like basically blanketing my, my pork <laughs> belly. I love fried rice at buffets. I don't know why, but I feel like I have to get fried rice or at least one plate at every buffet. So there's still good fried rice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very good. Look at this big old chunk of uh, chashu. Yeah, I try to get some scoops with some meat in there. Yeah, thank you, Brittany. But it's really nice. It's fried really nice, so you can see. Even with, you know, lighting can be tricky. Yeah. It's nicely fried. It's not overly dry. It's got a good bite Looks to good. each grain of rice. Moving on from that, more rice. I'm gonna have <laughs> the little sushi right here. I'm just gonna pick this up yeah, too. Yeah, just grab it. This is the unagi. This is eel. A little bit of sauce and a little bit of rice. Oh yeah, that's good. If you've never had unagi, you should probably go try it. Kind of like a salty and slightly sweet flavor to it, especially with the eel sauce that they put on there. It's very good. The sushi rice is nice and sticky, and the eel itself is very tender. Ooh, very that's good. flavorful. But most importantly, they put a good amount of the eel sauce. That's where a lot of I that's gonna kind of get pulled together. Fantastic. The eel sauce is where it's at. I mean, it wouldn't be an eel sushi without eel <laughs> sauce, right? Next up, I'm gonna have this paradise roll. It's very pretty. Spicy tuna and some Spicy like garlic ponzu, a lot of little fish eggs and stuff. It's a very pretty piece of sushi. It is. Brittany picked up a nice one. <laughs> All right. There's a lot going on right there. Oh, really? A big bite. I really like that. Oh. So flavorful. I feel like it doesn't belong at a buffet. It feels like something that you sh you would order at an actual sushi restaurant. Of like a specialty roll. And the uh, the spicy garlic ponzu is very potent. But I like that because the the ponzu is like, it's a kind of a tart citrusy kind of flavor, but it goes really well with the spiciness mm. of like the entire sushi roll. And there's a lot of like fun, like textures going on with all the little eggs and things. Very tasty sushi. Might be one of the best pieces of sushi I've had from any buffet. So get the sushi from the buffet. Rotate over to something new, for me at least. It is a panko shrimp roll. It's funny looking. Yeah. I It was in the dim sum section and I've, I'm gonna crack this open here maybe you guys to see what we've got going on. It's a mystery. 
does it look like? A little tough on the bottom of the cut right there. Let me just rip that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh. so. Oh my gosh, that's just like a it just bunch like of shrimp. Filled with shrimp. <laughs> it's, it's a, I mean, the name doesn't lie. It's everything it says in the name and nothing more. Look, well, time to try it. Ah, I feel like maybe I should have gotten some soy sauce or something uh, yeah. for this. But it probably tastes good anyway. Is it kind of like fried shrimp, but not? It's literally like if you got breaded fried shrimp at a seafood place, but in like mini burrito form. In tube form. This is my fried shrimp burrito. And I'm here for it. It's actually really tasty. The shrimp is good. We got that nice, like, natural sweetness of the shrimp. But what really sets it apart is the panko, like, crust. Perfect amount of crunch for me. It's really fun to have. I don't even feel like I need, like, soy sauce oh, or really? something on the side. Yeah, honestly, it tastes that good. So the last bit, I'm gonna uncover some of this seafood pad Thai noodle. Cute little. Thin, flat noodles. I'm not sure what kind of seafood's in here. I'm not sure, it just said seafood. Seafood flavored? I don't really see like seafood bits in here, but I'll have it. Mm. A little spicy. Oh, really? It's Thai food. Ooh. Oh. I don't really see the seafood part. Maybe just what was there. Maybe people had picked out some of the little fish bits. But the flavor's really good. It's got a little bit of spice to it, though. Guys. Oh, man. A lot more than that sushi. So you are warned. You see the little red bits on the noodles? It's probably going to be hot. I'm kind of glad I have rice next to it because it's <laughs> good stuff, though. Nice. Yeah. Round three. At the Wind Buffet. Let's see what they've got. Of course, I'm gonna get five pounds of bread. Yum. Jesus. Oh, yes. Hmm. What do you got here? Oh, man. They only got like one thing left of it, but I'm kind of curious. Can you get, grab that stuffed soul filet, the last of his kind? You get some of that sauce, too. Yeah. I've never had something like this. Kind of the point of the buffets, right? <laughs> Try something different. Feeling any of this? I try some of the scramble. All right, chorizo scramble it is. Yeah. It's a nice hearty scoop too. Some carnitas. Mm. Want any of this, Brittany? Mm. It's hard. All those like stations are kind of empty. <laughs> <laughs> People really like them, right? Yeah. Mm, can I get a, let's get a biscuits and gravy. Put that one in like the middle there. That this one? one? Yeah. Thank you, Brittany. Oh. I can do it. You got this. There we go. There you go. Well, that's a nice looking one. More bacon? I don't want to say, maybe I'll get more bacon. Oof. I think I want some more from the carving. <laughs> Carving station. Want to try more carving station yeah. things? Just gotta wait a little bit. Obviously, very busy here. You know what? I don't think we normally ever get chicken at the carving station. Oh, are you gonna get a little chicken? I'm gonna get some roast rotisserie chicken. All right. This one looks good. That's a nice piece. Ooh, that does look good. Right? There's some gravy and stuff too if you want it. Hmm. I'll put a little bit on the side. Hello. Can I get a small piece of the beef steamship? Yes. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Brisket. Wow. Now that, that's some beef right there. It's pretty rare. <laughs> There's some Thai beef. There's a lot of beef right there, yeah, too. Yeah, maybe I'll get some beef. Okay, go for it. Oh, nice. Looks good. Me, I'm gonna do something different. Oh, I'm gonna go get that shrimp, the big shrimp. Oh, it's cocktail. time for the big shrimp. I gotta get the big shrimp. Look at that mountain. Some shrimpy. Yeah, just give me a couple of big ones this if one you don't looks mind. Good. Oh, thank you, Brittany. And 
This one looks good. You want another one? Uh, I think this is good for right now. Do you want Thank some you. sauce or anything? Um, tiny bit of sauce okay. on this little corner there. On the side? Yeah, just on that little side. Right here? Awesome, yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Brittany. Cool. Now I think plate three completed. Yes. The third and maybe last of the savory plates is here. It's been a lot of food. It may not seem like it, but it's a good amount of food between the two of us. It is a good amount of food. It is. So what do you have, Brittany? I'm going to start with the chicken, the rotisserie chicken. That looks good. A little bit of gravy on the side. You don't really get chicken at any of these buffets. No. Come on. There we go. A little bit of gravy. Let's try it. Yeah. I was worried it'd be dry. It's not like overly moist or anything like that, but it's actually still pretty good chicken. And that gravy is really good with it too. That's awesome. I like that they put that gravy next to it because <laughs> that matches it. You can't miss it. Yeah. You definitely pair it together. That's pretty good though. Awesome. Let's have some scramble. It's a chorizo scramble. Yes. Oh, the flavor. Had normal scrambled eggs. <laughs> the meat adds some saltiness and the seasonings. It's not really like a kick. It's more like a thank you. Thank you very much. It's like um, the seasonings just like add just an extra level of flavor to it. It's nice. Normal I scrambled eggs are boring now. I think I've grabbed the trees of scramble on one of our previous trips and I really liked it. It's always a strong flavor. Yeah, I like strong flavors. Now let's try this beef. Thai what was beef. this? Thai beef? Is like that a what Thai it was? Thai spiced beef. Got some little veggies, onions, and beans. Uh oh. <laughs> How Thai is this Thai Thai beef? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I feel like I'm breathing fire right now. <laughs> I don't handle spice well. Woo, that's a great flavor though. Fantastic, that's good fantastic at least. Fantastic beef flavor. <laughs> that sauce is fantastic. And the tenderness of the beef is really good. Woo, but man. Let me just. Uh... We are very nice waitresses. Just topped us up on some soda. So Thank you. Thank we'll wash you. that down. So it's like a strong flavor, but it's not gonna like sit in your mouth too long. Oh, that's good. It doesn't coat your the roof of your mouth. Or oh, something. it coats your whole mouth. Oh, never mind. That. Okay. But I just mean like it's <laughs> like I still fit, like feel it in there, but I'm I'm okay now. That's good. That's good. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, I'm gonna cool my mouth out down with some bacon. The perfect palate cleanser. <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> My turn for plate three. I don't have a ton of stuff on here, but kind of interesting things. Yeah. So, I think I'm gonna start with my carving station okay. item. Okay. The uh, not rare at all beef steamship. Oh boy. Um, not really a rare meat kind of guy, but I figured I'd try it because uh, a lot of people at buffets love carving stations. We do too. So it's always good to try the big kind of flagship meat item, right? In some places, prime ribs, some of them have like something else. Or in this case, steamship. Yeah, a, a very red ship. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna try it. Let's see how I like it. I didn't grab any sauces or anything. Let's see, let's kind of cut this a bit here. And there's no like salt or anything like some prime ribs give you. No, no. Oh man. It was not offered the option. Not as easy to cut as I thought. There might just be some like tougher little bits right here. So I got you. Aha, all right. Might be one of the reddest pieces of meat I've had. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Maybe okay. I'll like it. We'll see. We'll see. It's a good kind of meat. And it is rare, but it's pretty tender. It's just 
I feel like it needs something. Yeah. Do they have they do have a lot of sauces around. Honestly, I'd be happy just with a little sprinkle of some salt or yeah, something. Yeah, oh, that's there. what I was wondering if you need a little bit of salt on there. I figured I'd just try it as is and yeah. see that if you like rare beef, this is for you. I'm not really a rare beef kind of person. I think if you're the kind of person that likes things like prime rib and nicer beef carving items, I think it's totally fine. Just get something like, get one of the sauces to go with it. Let's move on to this stuffed sole. I got Ooh. this pretty early on. I've never had anything like this. This is the last one too. It, it was. Even the first time we passed through, there wasn't a whole lot of it. So let's see, what does it look like in here? Let's split this in half. Wow. Wow, look at that. That's very flaky. That's fun. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cut this down again. <laughs> That's too big of a bite for me, I'm sorry. I've made a mess of this. <laughs> Just Absolute scoop it up. mess. Right here. There you go. That's a nice looking bite. Yeah. Stuffed sole. I'm not really sure what it's stuffed with. But this looks like a lot of fish. Yeah, it just looks like a lot of fish. A little bit of sauce on it. Let's go try it. Oh. Ooh. I like that a lot. Oh. Ooh. Very nice, like lightly buttery, kind of white fish flavor. Whatever the sauce is on top, I really like that. But even on its own, like the actual fish, fantastic. Ooh. Really flaky, really tender. Very moist too. I'm oh, kind really? of worried because it was like the last piece yeah, there. Yeah, the last one, oh. it's been sitting. I'm glad I got this. I, it's kind of like for me, I love trying new things at like the buffets. Never had this before, never seen it before. And I really like it. It might be one of my favorite items the entire day. Oh, day? Wow. Okay. Now I'm gonna move on to this, not at all like the previous two items, <laughs> country biscuit and gravy. I'm gonna cut a nice piece off right here. Very flaky. Scoop this up right there here. There you go. Nice looking biscuit. All right. I like that. <clears throat> Nice biscuits and gravy. The biscuit is so flaky. It's very soft. Dang. And then the gravy, surprisingly not overly rich or salty. Good flavor. If anything, I might want a little more gravy on there. I can see that. Mm -hmm. The biscuit is so buttery too. I don't know how they, 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 they must have coated this poor biscuit <laughs> in so much butter before slathering the gravy all over it. <laughs> Last item is big old honking shrimp. Shrimpy. Shrimp cocktail. We don't normally do like the cold seafoods at buffets. It's not normally our thing, but I like shrimp a lot and I couldn't resist when I saw the size of these things. So. They're huge. Give me that huge shrimp. And a little bit of Give it in the cocktail sauce. sauce. That's good. Shrimpy? That's good. <laughs> That's a nice shrimp. Not only is it big, it's got a great bite behind it. There's like a little bit of almost like a light crunch. Mm. Not weirdly squishy. Great flavor. The cocktail sauce is nice too. Man, this is a good plate. That is a good plate. I gotta say, it's been a good day when like the worst item is the carving station's beef steamship yeah. from here. But all of it's been very good. Let's go finish the rest of our plates. Yeah. Time for desserts. We got some fun stuff all through this half of the dessert area. Some campfire brownie bread pudding, apple crisp, cute little lava cakes right lava here. Lava cakes. An assortment of cookies. Nice looking cookies. Caramel in there or something? Is that? Toasted almond tart up on the top. That's cute. Yeah. You want any of these? Mm. I don't know what's that what that cookie is, but I'm kind of kind that of tempted one? to get a cookie. Yeah. I'm gonna do it once I actually grab my own stuff. Nice. That's my entire dessert right there. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all. <laughs>
Uh, can I get the, the chocolate mousse? I'm um, okay, thank you. Eight order crepes. Thank you. Wow, oh, that is a nice looking great. Look wow, at it's that. so cute. I don't remember it looking that nice before. Oh my goodness. All right, well, we got even more desserts. Some cheesecakes. A Thai tea cheesecake would look really cute. I love the shape of it. So this is... Tiramisu? Uh, I think this is the tiramisu. And then this is a key lime tart. And then there's this Mexican hot chocolate bar. I wouldn't mind trying this. Yeah. Let's scoot down to the plate if you don't mind, please. Thank you, Brittany. And then they've got some vegan desserts here, too. Some panna cottas. Lovely looking creme brulee right here. It's even a vegan chocolate cake. Look at that. That's cool. Nice variety. They have some gluten free options. Like this chocolate banoffee cake. Banoffee. It's a banana coffee. A uh, little cake. Black Force Delight, a Marshmallow Kiss. Oh, that's cute. Little cones. Here's a tiramisu. A cheesecake with no sugar added, and also a marble cake with no sugar added nice. as well. Nice. Maybe we'll get a tiramisu. All right. Let's squeeze that on in here. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, Brittany. There's more. We got over here. Ooh, a red velvet cake. Wow. That looks really nice. Salted caramel cupcake. Wow, look, that looks look at all the caramel on those. Oh, that's tempting. Mm. Fantasy cake. It's very like dark, deep ganache. Yeah. More salted caramel cupcakes and some Hawaiian cake. We got more marshmallow kisses these time. This time it's got some white chocolate on there. Oh, interesting. And some blueberry danishes. Looks like a little bit of carrot cake left there too. Some little, little pies and tarts. Those are cute. There's a flourless chocolate cake. It looks nice. Wow, oh, those are cute. Yeah. There's a carrot cake right here that's kind of sitting in the back. In the back. And then to the right. And then gelato. The big gelato station. Lots and lots of choices. As well as toppings and stuff down the way. Wow. Cool. Uh, hmm. Want Actually, one of these? Can you grab me one of the salted caramel cupcakes, please? Ooh. It's a good looking one. The really salted. Is there a. I guess I just grab Ooh, it. Just grab it. No tongue. The real caramely one. There we go. Thanks, Brittany. Whew. We should probably get back. Yeah, it's melting. Melt. Uh oh. <laughs> Let's go. Dessert is here at the Wind Buffet. Brittany. Have you seen how cute this I plate have. is? Have you seen how cute this plate is? It's really cute, even if it's a little melty, you know. It's, you know, the crepe is hot. <laughs> it's very Fine. nice. The, the mousse is, you know, it's, it just gets a little melty. We, don't we all get a little melty sometimes? All the time. <laughs> but it's so, I don't even want to eat it. It's so pretty. There's little stars on it and there's glitter. I know you don't want to break it apart. I but. know. We have to do it for science. For science. Gonna get right in here. There we go. I wanna roll it up. All right. Ooh, that's a nice looking it's bite. It's very chocolatey. That is so good. Chocolate this is, heaven. This is loose, right? Uh, I think so. This, this is what it looked like on the little sign. It's so chocolatey, it almost tastes like chocolate ice cream. Maybe it is chocolate ice cream. No, it's too, like, <laughs> whipped. It's too whipped to be actual ice cream. Chocolate mousse ice cream. This is real good. I'm, I'm not going to lie. The wind has had a crepe filling that is cannoli filling. And that used to be my favorite crepe filling. But it's been a while since they had it's it. It's been a long time since they've had it, and I've been sad. I didn't know they had chocolate. And for whatever reason, you don't really see a lot of like chocolate mousse 
fillings for crepes for whatever no, reason. No, not really. I don't know why. This, so this, this makes me happy. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh. An adequate substitute for the cannoli yes. filling you miss. I still say though, Wind Buffet Management, if you ever see or hear this, please, cannoli filling, bring please. it back. Bring it back please to the crepe bring station. Back the cannoli it was filling. so good. It was great. Fantastic way to end. Oh, this is a great way to end this buffet. <laughs> My turn for some dessert. I'm taking over the non-chocolate dessert duties. Yeah. Uh, I don't actually know what some of this is. Primarily this cookie. Yeah. Uh, it didn't have any signage. It looks like it's got like caramel or something in it. Yeah, kind of fun. So I wanted to see what it's like. But first, a test. We love chewy cookies. Yes. Is this chewy or crunchy? Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Look at Wow, look at oh. that break apart. Okay. Okay, okay. Good start. Pretty soft. But how does it taste? Oh, that's good. Oh, what's in it? It's like a chocolate salted caramel cookie. Oh. It's very small bits of chocolates, if you look. Yeah. Well, a very light chocolate flavor with some salted caramel in there. Wow, that is good. And oh my gosh, it's so wonderfully chewy. Nice, we love a chewy cookie. Th this is this is a decadent dessert, Ooh, okay? This decadent. is very sweet. <laughs> I don't use that word lightly, okay? <laughs> this is a good cookie. Oh man. Wow, I'm gonna buy it again. I need to double check. <laughs> yep, it's still good. <laughs> Since we're here, I might as well try oh, yeah. the rest. I guess, I guess so. If you insist, here's this beautiful salted caramel cupcake. It's very nice. I got an extra caramely one. Thank you, Britta. You picked a good one. She always does. <laughs> it's like a, got a nice crumb texture to it. All right? Okay. That was a good cupcake. Ooh. The actual cake is very soft. Oh man, that looks really soft. Very moist, very fluffy. Exactly what you want out of a cupcake. I'll tell you though, that frosting is really sweet. <laughs> Maybe it's just, I've just had some of this cookie, okay? Yeah. So, still, the salted caramel on top, very, very strong. I hope you like sugar, like a lot of it. I mean, I like sugar. Because that's what you're getting in here. You yeah. get tons of it. It's good though. It's very good. So next up, I'm going to try this. This is the Mexican hot chocolate bar. I think that's what they called it. It's very cute looking. Yeah. It's got so many layers. Let's see in there. Ooh, wow, nice... that looks perfect. <laughs> right. Don't mind me. I accidentally oh, hit, the, no. I hit the side no. of the cupcake. Ruined. The YouTube magic's gone, guys. <laughs> this is a very, very aesthetically pleasing dessert. Yeah. It's interesting. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. It's more of a dark chocolate flavor. Ah, uh, so it's richer? Very deep and rich, yeah. A little bit of crunchies in the bottom. A little hot chocolate flavor. It's different. I don't hate it. It's just not what I was expecting. Ah, I see. But also, I think my taste buds are confused right now because they've been slammed with sugar from the first two yeah, items. Yeah, that doesn't help. So in a way, maybe I don't mind that it's not as sweet as I expected. But it's very nice. It's got a very smooth texture to it. Obviously, it's very pretty to look at Yeah, it is well. very pretty. The last item on the plate is going to be this little tiramisu. You gotta get all the way to the bottom. You gotta get the little bottom bits. Yeah, you gotta get all the layers. If you don't get the layers, you're not having the tiramisu. Not a very strong, like, coffee kind of flavor behind it. But the texture of, like, the main filling is very good. It holds together pretty well. It's not, like, runny or anything. And I like the bottom bit. That's where all, like, the, the really, like, serious... Like, coffee espresso yeah, flavor, flavor comes from. Is. But it's pretty good. 
pretty good. Okay. We got a pretty good assortment of desserts right here. There's so much more. Yeah. There's just not really enough time or space to get no, all of it. No, we're pretty full. And then my poor, uh, my poor crepe was melting. It really is. But there's like all the gelato and all the um, toppings you could put on there. There's tons of stuff. Yeah. yeah just. Luckily, for most of you guys watching this, you probably don't have to worry about filming and watching your <laughs> crepe filling uh, <laughs> waste away. What do you mean? It's just melting a little bit. It's just bit. melty. Yeah, it's okay. All right, we're gonna finish up our dessert and we'll have some final thoughts on the Wind Buffet after. Yeah. That's it for our time at the Wind Buffet here on the Las Vegas Strip. Really good brunch and relatively speaking, cheaper for $53. I yeah. don't know if we mentioned that earlier, but yeah, $53 for a ton of great food choices. A ton of good food. We're so oh full gosh. now. It's ridiculous. <sighs> but, you know, a lot of people ask, what is like the best buffet to go to in Las Vegas? Honestly, this is still like our top. There's something <laughs> about the Wins Buffet that it's strangely comforting in a way. It it's is. not the biggest buffet there, but everything is like really nice quality for the most part. And there's a lot of really good items. It's like highly curated selection. Yeah, it's you know? quality and like how I like to describe it, the wind buffet just, just makes you happy. Yeah. Like you eat the food and you just feel happy. If I had to pick a favorite item, it'd probably be between the stuffed soul filet or the panko breaded shrimp Ooh. roll thing is really good. What I, about really, you, Brittany? I really like that Thai beef. I know it's very spicy, but <laughs> man, that flavor was so good. She still ate all of it I off, did. off camera I did. too. <laughs> it was fantastic. But hopefully, hopefully you guys thought this was fantastic too. If you've been to the Wind Buffet, let us know in the comments below how you liked it. Yeah. This is brunch, but at the time of us leaving, they were just starting to put out lunch lunch items, so. It's pretty cool to see. We've been here for both brunch and dinner time. You can't really go wrong. Although if you want to save some money, go for brunch. Go for brunch. Thank you guys for watching. We are The Crane Couple. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and ring the bell for notifications because hopefully we can put up a lot more videos on here. Thanks for watching and enjoying our Wind Buffet full review, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.